Check we tubers and a groovers and bid thee well. This is I, Jason Bangers, from Take the Fear Out of the Gear. And I, Chumley Warner, from Take the Fear Out of the Gear. He often forgets his name. We're back on the Behringer bus. Stay with us, because we might kind of have some Behringer drummy machine-y kind of stuff. Mm. Check we. Welcome. Welcome to our lair. Um, okay, Simon, so we've got some more Behringer stuff. All forthcoming. Drum machines, drum machines. People are keep asking, what, what Behringer drum machines are uh, <laughs> available and coming out? So here we oh, go. Oh, they any good. So we'll go with this one. The first one is called the RD78. That sounds like a motorbike. That's it. 78cc Yamaha RD. Mm. Mm, nice. Not. So this is a copy of the Roland CR78 with all the original circuits in. Phil Collins comes to mind in the air tonight. Yeah. Uh, so that's going to that's gonna be awesome. That's the first one. Was it or wasn't it? You know, 909 or was it a, you know. Yeah, who knows? Who knows? We'll have to ask Phil. 606 or a 505 or 202 or 304 or, or 271625. Sounds like Peugeot car models. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, next one is it's, it's called the LM drum. No clues there. So this is Behringer's uh, interpretation of the Lindrum. So apparently it's going to be a hybrid 8, 12-bit sampling editing based on the Lindrum drum machine. Cool, that's a lot to, you know. 12-bit, eh? So that's going to be, and apparently it's, it's that one's, I think they've got a... Massive 12-bit. Yeah, they've got prototypes of these. So, uh, yeah, it's all coming along nicely. And, and the next one's exciting as well. This one, this one, you're going to say, I know you're going to say, this is called the BMX. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> and, it's, and, it, and it's not a new bicycle, no. no. The BMX is uh, it, it's, it's a, their interpretation of the Oberheim DMX drum machine. Again, it's apparently going to be like an 8, 12-bit hybrid with filters and everything else. They should have our man Sam Pilgrim pushing this one. Definitely, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that's going to be an Oberheim DMX. We, lo we love you, Sam. Love you, Mr. Pilgrim. Keep it up for Collie, my friend. Keep it up for Collie. And only those who live in Collie will understand what I'm saying. And yeah, then BMX, yeah? Yeah, BMX. BMX. Yep, the new drum machine. Right, and then we're just going to do a few honourable mentions because you guys probably know about these already. So, obviously, there's the RD8, which is the 808 clone. And... There's the RD9, which is the TR909 clone. And the most interesting thing, because we always say this, sometimes when you see them when they first come out, they're a lot cheaper. Mm -hmm. And this, this still rings true, because now we're look, looking at the price of the RD8, it's about £273, and the RD9 is £297, so almost £300. And before that... I got an RD9 for about just over 200. Don't be at the back of the queue, be first. So if you see a good price, definitely jump on the bus. Be first in the line, as they say in America. We call them queues, the Americans call them lines. Be first in line. Get it. And again, be first in line for the last last mention, the RD6 drum machine, the TR606 claim. You can still get one for a mm. brand new £100. So if you think about it, don't delay. Yeah. And that's all the drum machine drumming there. They're coming out with at the moment. And I've got to say, they're holding their price well second hand because there's a guy selling local to us a is it an RD8, the Roland one? The 808 clone. Yeah, the, the, and he's and he's had it up for 180 quid, which is damn cheap. Now he's knocked it down to 160. It's brand new in a box, second hand though, and and it's just not holding its money. People ain't. But if that if that was a Behringer one, bet your bottom dollar that would sell. But he's had it on marketplace for so long, nobody seems to want it. Oh well, what's that all about? You'll have to be tempted. I might have to go <laughs> buy it. <laughs> yeah, it's a good so, price. So is that it then, Ty? That's it. That's this. That sums up what's coming out with the drum machines and what's still available. Well, up the folly follies, chickly fillily do. Don't you realise that this bearings of stuff is for you, and we bring it to you because we want to. Um, hopefully, you'll enjoy seeing some of this stuff, and with a bit of luck, you'll appreciate. Go out and buy. I mean, we don't get nothing for it, so I don't know why we're plugging it and promoting it. Because old Yuri or Yulgi or Ergi. Uli. Uli. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. know. Maybe he will see us one day and 
maybe chuck us something that we can do a video on before anyone else gets their hands on it. But that's been it from Take the Fair to Give this episode, part two of the Behringer special. And we shall see you on part three, which is coming up shortly, ladies and gentlemen. From me, Jason Bangers Toodaloo. And from me, Mr. Chumley Warner, it's goodbye. Hit the subscribe, don't worry about all that, you know what to do. We'll see you on the next one. Check we.